Today, I'm opening up an entire booster box of the brand new set, Scarlet and Violet. EX cards are back, alternate arts are still here, although they're called special illustration rares now. And there is a ton of amazing artwork in this set. Now, I've had some awesome pulls already, but there's still a big one that I need to find. So let's rip into this box and see what's in here. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. Drop a like on this video if you can and follow the channel by hitting that subscribe button. 36 packs of Scarlet and Violet. Let's do it. Let's just break right into these. I really want to see the terrestrialized Gyarados and the secret art rare. What are we, what are we going to call them now? If I say alternate art, is everyone going to freak out? But I really want to see that special illustration rare Miriam. First pack magic. Can we get one? There we go. First pack magic. We have the full art Jacques. There we go. Let's see. And bam, there's the code for you. Was not actually expecting to pull one on the first pack, but if you guys have seen my first Scarlet and Violet openings, the luck has been crazy with this. Should we keep it all going from the left side? Do one side first first and then the right side I don't know let's see here bam let's get this out no more card trick it's just one from the back so I guess if you wanted to you still could do a card trick but we're just gonna blast through all of them today we've got the silicobra the pokeball and hollow pomet for the rare bam coats for you really awesome how there's at least a hollow in every pack and for some reason because of that I just feel like you have a better chance at pulls in general. You know, you technically have three spots that you could get a hit from. Here we go. We've got the Skull Villain. I always say that one wrong. Toxel. And there we go. The King Gambit. King Gambit? How do I say that one? Pretty, pretty awesome. I keep wanting to call these a character rare, like the, from all the way back in Cosmic Eclipse. Not really the trainer gallery because there's no trainer in there. There we go. Can we double it up with a very nice Toxic Croak EX? There's the code for you. Let's drop both of these into a sleeve. Now, I'm really curious what the pull rates on a booster box are going to look like. So far, this is looking pretty good. Two packs in and three pulls. Toxic Croak EX going into the sleeve i can't wait to put this binder together you guys i've already pulled two of the big chases i feel like i might actually be able to 100 percent this set nearly on my own i usually don't do more than one booster box but this time around i might i don't know let's see so viper and the very very awesome artwork on that slow bro energy and a code for you i really like how easy it is to just blast through these two not having to do the card trick and like i said really not really not even needing to it's just one from the back it's like you're just throwing that energy on the front we got the zangoose and annihilate for the hollow now the only thing about there being a hollow in every pack is you're definitely going to end up with a ton of duplicates and i'm pretty curious what this is going to do to the uh, like bulk trade-in market you know at comic shops and stuff like that are they going to start to devalue the hollows because there's going to be so so many of them fido rare candy and and Meow Scarda. Meow Scarda? Meow Scarda? Bam, code for you. Hopefully, you guys are getting some good pulls from these codes. But with the full arts somewhat being considered like a, a, uh, like a secret, not a secret rare, but um, I feel like the way they're handling the full arts now, it could affect the pull rates in the booster boxes. We've got double Arma Rogue there for the pull bam code for you i'm getting all confused i'm just too excited too excited to be opening the brand new set like i said knocked two of the big chases off of the list already if i can add another one from this booster box i will flip out i really want to see that gyarados though let's see we've got vitality ban squovit and professor's research for the rare let's see we'll grab i don't know let's just do this whole left side and then we'll do the whole pull right side let me know if you guys are getting any good pulls from these codes too we've got the riolu magneton spiritum ultra ball arvin Mankey, pokemon catcher and right when i'm talking about the gyarados i pull the arcanine ex again but that's okay this card is spectacular terrestrialized arcanine ex and the code for you let's 
drop the Arcanine into his sleeve. Maybe I can use the Arcanine to trade for a Gyarados if there's not a Gyarados in here, but I don't know. This booster box is already looking pretty good. I'd say we're about halfway through the left side and one, two, three, four pulls already. Let's keep it going. Spiritomb, Ultra Ball, Judge, Go Goat, and Cloth. Cloth for the Hollow. Bam, there's the code for you. I like the new style on the energy cards too. You know, at first I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the silver borders, but they're definitely really growing on me. We've got the Ponard, the Cacturn, Mezagoza, Energy Retrieval, EXP Share, and a Magnezone EX. Bam, there we go. The more I see these different EXs, the more I really do like them. I know they look a little faded. Some of them, it feels like the colors pop more than others like the uh, the psychic type ones look a little washed out like the color the vibrancy or the saturation is just a little lower than it could be but uh, all the other ones are looking pretty good we've got Shancy, rare candy the arvin again cacturn again potion driftloom and skeledurge for the hollow bam there we go that's actually the first one of those hollows that i've pulled i'm kind of curious too in terms of like a master set is it going to be a lot easier to complete that you're getting two reverse hollows basically in each pack i think that's pretty cool we got heracross defiance band drift blim meditite breloom and Coridon for the hollow very very fitting if you saw my etb boxes opened a few days ago let's keep it going here just a couple of packs left from the right side so far i'd say this booster box is pretty decent compared to other main set booster boxes Boxes, but I feel like there should still be a nice, nice big pull hiding in here somewhere. We've got the Pineco and Maridon. How about that? Coridon and then Maridon back to back. Three, four more from the left side here. I always have to make sure that I didn't accidentally uh, slip a pack behind the back of the box there. I don't know. I can't remember what set that was, but do you guys remember when that happened? And then the next day I found the pack and flipped out and. There was nothing in it though. We've got Heracross, Defiance Band, Le Chonk, and there we go, Gold Fighting Energy. I pulled the electric one already, got the gold one in here. I think we still could double it up. Just a Hollow Professor's Research. There's the code for you, dropping the Gold Fighting Energy into a sleeve. I really like the new kind of extra shine that they're putting on these. At first with Pokemon Go, I thought it was some kind of weird like error when the, uh, what's it called when the rainbows started looking a little different and i actually pulled two different versions of that rainbow um, dragonite one that looked like the original rainbow rares from early sword and shield and then one that's there we go the clauncher one that's got that new little uh, what i'm calling the tv static sparkle onto it clauncher hiding just a hollow bam there's the code for you let's drop the clauncher into a sleeve look at this artwork though that is spectacular, all that blue. I really like the shine on these. I feel like it's definitely a step up from Sword and Shield in terms of like card like quality, like vibrancy and stuff like that. But I would say it's not completely on the level of the Japanese cards just yet, but I think it's getting there. And I'm really curious to see what the print looks like in Paldea Evolved Fido and the Rev of Room for the rare. Get you the code. Last pack from the left side of the box here, and then I'm gonna clear all these cards out of the way and we'll get into that right side. I wish they would put the nice little pull tab though on these to open them like they do with the Japanese packs. That would make it a little bit easier. We have got the Bombardier Hypno. I definitely said that one wrong. Beach Court, Magneton, Sprig Sprigatito? Sprigatito and Don Dozo for the hollow. Bam, code for you. All right, that's the whole left side. Let's get into this right side. All right, right side of the box. Was I just saying to get into the left side? I'm pretty sure I said that right though. Here we go. So far, first half of this booster box, decent. Nothing too crazy. Let's see if this left, this right side, why do I keep messing that up? Can save the day though. So far, no alternate arts, no secret rares. We got a Quaxley and Indeedee for the hollow code for you. I don't know, like I said, Typically, the booster boxes for me, I end up with like a dozen pulls or so, maybe like 13, 14, somewhere around there. Usually like one rainbow or like something just better than like a full art or something like that. Let's see, we've got the Cacnea and Coridon EX. Very fitting, very fitting. I think I pulled all of the versions of the Maridon and the Coridon. Oh no, I don't have the uh, Maridon EX yet. 
Maybe we'll grab one of those in here. So far though, only a handful of pulls, only about six or seven pulls from this booster box. Still halfway to go though. We got Skiddo, Quaxley, Squovit, the Wug Trio, Judge, Star Staravia, I always say that one wrong, Magnemite, and right when I'm talking about it, we've got the Maridon EX full art. Look at the centering though on that. I'd almost call that a misprint and bam, code for you. Let's drop the Maridon EX into a sleeve. I think between the two, the uh, alternate art for the Maridon is probably my favorite. That scene going through the city, all those 80s lights glowing, that just looks too, too awesome. We've got the Smoliv, Wiglet, Gravard. I really want to pull the uh, Gravard character rare. That would be awesome. Wug Trio, Quaxwell, Arbeliva, and the Arcanine EX. There we go. Now I've pulled both versions of the Arcanine. Just need to get that Gyarados in the binder now. Look at that Arcanine EX though. That is spectacular compared to those regular EXs. Let's drop this into a sleeve. This one definitely has some uh, definitely more vibrancy on these than these uh, regular EXs right here. The terrestrialized. All right, let's keep it going. Still a lot of packs left in this box. Still some big cards that I need in the binder too. Let's see, I guess, um, I don't know though. Two full arts. Let's see, we've got Miriam, Rock Chespy, Shroomish, Energy Search, and Slowbro. Bam, another pack here. Let's keep ripping into them. Overall though, either I'm getting like really, really lucky, which I guess could happen, or it feels like the pull rates are just turned up in Scarlet and Violet, and I think that is a very, very good thing. Miriam, we've got Jacques and Meowskarda. Bam, for the hollow. Would be really, really insane to pull that secret rare Miriam. I don't really know what else I would be chasing after the Gyarados. If we can get the Gyarados in this box too, Let's see, we've got Lucario, the Team Star Grunt, Smoliv, Clauncher, and Halucha for the Hollow. Hopefully you guys got that last code right there. Bam. Let's see, probably less, less than half of this box left. Nothing too, too crazy yet. Cacnea, Sandile, Mareep, Lucario, Rock Chest Plate. We've got the Florigato, Dash, Dash Bun. That one's pretty cute. And Houndstone for the Hollow. Very, very cool. I'll set this one aside. Bam, code for you. I really like some of these new Gen 9 Pokemon. Some of them, you know, I'll be honest. Kind of don't make sense, look a little weird. There's actually a really great quote from uh, the creator of Pokemon that's in one of those magazines that they put out over the last few months. I need to find it and dig it up because for some reason I can't find it online. But he basically said if you added, you know, a bunch of more Pokemon that it would basically like ruin everything. I think it's just really funny that the creator himself said that because I don't know, I feel like there kind of are maybe too many, definitely ones that people don't care about and never end up as chases. Maybe Pokemon could figure out a different way to progress it. Pommy and the Scovit, there we go. Hiding, I think we could still double up. Ah, just the cleft key. Hollow, bam, there's the code for you. Let's drop the, uh, I'm gonna, I just wanna keep calling them character rares. The character rare Scovit, bam, going into a sleeve. I really like these, uh, the artwork on those too. It's kind of a, a different style than just a regular like full art or the uh, trainer galleries or the character rares from Cosmic Eclipse. We've got Chansey, Rare Candy, Fido, Blissey, Tatsuguri, I think I said that one right, Jock, Toad, Toad School, Nest Ball, and the Gardevoir EX, bam, here's the code. I feel like I'm getting pretty close now to all of the EXs. I think I've only doubled up one of them? Maybe I haven't doubled up any of them. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left in this booster box. So far, really awesome pulls, but no uh, no secret rares, no alternate arts yet. Let's see, we got Quaxley, Ponard, Crushing Hammer, The Quaxwell, Cyclozar, Toad Cruel, Hypno, Zangoose, and the Iron Treads EX. That's another EX that I needed for the binder. Bam, there is the code for you. I wish my Vault X binder was shipping yet, but I think it's still not even on the way. I can't wait until I get that to fill it up. It looks so, so awesome. 
Couple packs left here. Let's see if these can save the day. Get an alternate art or some kind of secret rare into the binder. We got Flaffy, Blissey, Tatsuguri, Indeedy, Halucha, and Cloth. Just Cloth for the hollow. That's a funny one. Let's keep it going here though. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are there too many Pokemon? Should they stop adding new Pokemon? Should they maybe add evolutions to Pokemon that already exist? Maybe older ones? I think that could be cool. We got Stonejourner, Magikarp, Klefki, and Pommet for the Hollow. I can't wait for that new uh, Magikarp character rare that's coming out in, I would assume Paldea Evolved. I know it's in Triplet Beat right now, and it's not in this base set for Scarlet and Violet. So maybe we'll get it with the next one. Maybe we'll have to wait a whole nother one. We've got Grimer, Shuppet, and Cyclozar. Bam, code for you. Three packs left. I don't know. I feel like maybe my luck is, is running out with Scarlet and Violet, or these last three are going to have something really crazy in it. We've got Lechonk. I have to go take my Lechonk for a walk after this. I've actually had my own real-life Lechonk for a while. We have Slowpoke, Muck, and Professor's Research. I'm talking about my dog, if you guys didn't know here we go last two packs oh no see this is what i mean we need that nice pull tab that the japanese packs have you know if you just like pull down from like the top right it just tears right open let's see we have got pokemon catcher clauncher stone joiner penny metacham corkorok and no way, doubling up on the Arvin special illustration rare. Pretty cool. I really like the background of this card. Can we double it up? Just a hollow Coridon. All right, so I feel like technically this is probably eaten up the one good pull spot for this booster box. I'm happy with it. Happens to be a duplicate for me, but overall feels way, way more stacked than the regular main set booster boxes have been for me in the past. Last one here. We've got Growlithe, Star, Star Ravia. I always say that one wrong. We've got Cyclozar, Toad, Toad's Cruel, Cruel, Buizel, ah, and the Skelly Dirge for the rare. All right, you know what? I never do this. Let's do a little recap. All right, 14 hits in this booster box. Pretty typical to what an average pull rate is for a booster box. Maybe I got an unlucky one, or maybe Scarlet and Violet pull rates are probably the same as Sword and Shield. That's what I'm willing to bet. We've got the Iron Treads EX, the Scovit, the Arcanine EX, Coridon EX, Clauncher, the, the Fighting Gold Energy, Magnezone EX, Gardevoir EX, Arcanine EX, Terrestrialized, very cool, the Toxicroak, the Full Art Jacques, the King Gambit, I'm definitely saying that one wrong, and the Arvin Character Rare along, not Character Rare, basically Alternate Art Ar Arvin and the Maridon EX. I can't wait to open up some more Scarlet and Violet. Maybe I should do 36 of the single packs next? As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every week. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.